This one is for every single, I don't care if you're a boy or a girl, if you've had issues with dieting, cutting your calories super, super low, and just now you're eating like nothing, but you're hungry all the time and you wanna eat more, and you're like, my body is just broken. It's not. For the people that just want to eat more and feel good about themselves without worrying about all the weight gain, this is for you. So I'm gonna make this a series. We're gonna keep it short because there's so much to cover. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. Today I'm gonna touch on what is a reverse diet and kind of do an overview and then we'll go from there. So reverse dieting is literally like it sounds. You are reversing diets. You know when you go on a diet and you're like, I'm gonna try keto and you decide you're gonna eat a thousand calories or 1200 calories you cut your calories really quickly that's a diet got it great a reverse diet is where you switch rooney that and you start increasing your food without gaining a whole bunch of weight this is like your key to being able to eat more without gaining a ton of weight and there's nothing wrong with gaining weight gaining weight is not a bad thing sometimes you need to gain weight and that's a whole different ball game a reverse diet is where you slowly start increasing your calories. And I know it's scary to increase your calories because you're like, but if I increase, I'm going to gain weight and then I'm going to lose all of my progress, whatever. That, no, <laughs> no. When you go into a reverse diet, you are going to start slowly increasing. The slow increase is to get your body adapted. When you drastically cut your calories in a diet, it sends a shock to your body and your body's like, whoa, dude, what are you doing? Okay, we gotta like go in starvation mode, hold on to everything we can because she is like not bringing us any food in. So your body starts holding on to a lot of the food that it can to try and like save it up for later because you're not feeding it. Whereas if you were to slowly decrease your calories over time and make it maintainable, your body would not react the way that it is right now. The same goes for reverse diets. So if you were to just increase your calories and jump from your 1,000 calories today to 2,000 plus tomorrow, yeah, you're gonna gain a lot of weight because there's an excess amount of food coming in that your body doesn't know how to process it. So it's going to like store a lot of it as fat because it's just like, this is too much for me to handle right now. It's a process. If you slowly increase your calories over time, your body is going to adapt to those small changes and it's not going to send as much of a shock. So if your body doesn't have as much of a shock to itself, it's not going to like have that rapid weight gain that you fear. So who is a reverse diet good for? A reverse diet is good for someone who has been dieting for a long time, someone who has drastically reduced their calories to an amount that you're just like, I can't do this anymore. It is for somebody if you want to increase your metabolism and be able to eat more without gaining a lot of weight, it's great. If you just want to like change how much you're able to eat, a reverse diet is for you. Really, honestly, anybody can have a reverse diet and it's probably gonna be a good thing. There's so many benefits to it. During my past, I would spend hours, like literally from the minute I woke up to the minute I went to sleep, I would be thinking about food. And when I started my reverse diet and slowly started incorporating more food in, I was getting to eat more. My mental shift was, oh, okay, I know I'm gonna eat more so I don't have to worry about food all the time. The amount of space my brain has now is ridiculous because I'm not thinking about food. And this all came from reverse dieting. So reverse dieting, summary, if you're dieting for a long time and you're just tired of it, if you drastically decrease your calories, you just wanna be able to eat more, you wanna increase your metabolism and just overall be able to eat more because who doesn't want to? Reverse diet is probably a good idea for you. Like I said, these are gonna be a series of videos. I'm gonna keep going into it and talking about it but the only thing I want to say is it is so easy to mess up on a reverse diet. Like it is easy to not do it exactly right. You need to understand everything before you go into it. So that's why I'm making this a series. I want it to be broken down each time so you guys understand exactly what I'm talking about. So I am going to ask you guys to go ahead and subscribe down below and hit the bell if you want to. It'll notify you when I post more videos and that'll tell you and keep you updated on the reverse diet series. But I just, I really want you guys to understand this is going to change your life. You are going to be blown away by one, how much food you can eat, two, the benefits of it, and three, just how important it is that you fuel your body and not be scared of gaining weight. 
this is the end of my, I guess it would be like a trailer to reverse sighting. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time. Bye.